guys, it's Eileen. And I'm Dan. And this is Bates Photography on the Road. So welcome to our RV tour, brand new 2020. Imagine we just have, actually right here, um, grand design. And um, my husband's gonna take you through the outside a little bit. I'm gonna take you through the inside. He's also, go also gonna show you some upgrades he did along the way, which we love. And we're having a blast here in Amish country at Spring Gulch RV Resort. We're right in the heart of Amish country. Do you like it here, honey? So far, so good. Lots of good food. Excellent food. <laughs> Something like a whoopie pie from Lancaster. So I'm not going to try to make a, a sales video here, uh, but just a couple of things. This is a 2150RB. It's the smallest of the, of the Grand Design Imagine series. Now they have a series um, below this, the Imagine XLS, it's their ultralights. Uh, the, the key difference other than the construction is a little flimsier because it's an ultralight, but this has a barreled ceiling. So me standing before you at six foot five, 350 plus, I need every square inch I can get. I take up a lot of space. Uh, so that really is what sold us on this model. So this is the smallest of the standard Imagines. Uh, and it's just a hair bigger than the biggest of the XLSs. So, just a quick run through again. It's not a sales video. Standard, it comes with the power tongue jack, uh, four stabilizers, the fully laminated fiberglass body, um, front LED lights, really nice LED. It, it's bright without being overbearing when you have it on at night, full length awning. Um, the new 2020s, meaning the later 2020s, come with a light interior, and they come with the Moride, or I'm not sure if they have the Moride, or the Limperic uh, sturdy steps. Difference being, the Moride, a few dollars cheaper, and they, they do their job. Now, the other ones are, the, each tread is a little deeper, a little wider, and the very top tread has an extra inch or two above the other treads. Um, the reason we went with these as opposed to that, although I have very large size 16, 17, depending on the maker's feet, uh, they would be better suited for me, but they also take up a lot more real estate when you have to fold these up into the unit. These don't collapse, they fold up into the unit. So this was not standard. On the new ones, they are. We have an early 2020. We still have the dark espresso finish with the glass inlay, which, which my wife will show you on the inside. But uh, real quick, I wanted to show you something. Had I have pleaded my case to Grand Design saying that, well, they're supposed to be standard with 2020s, I'm sure they're a great company with customer service. They probably would have given them to me. I didn't want to wait because we were going camping right away when we picked it up. So I actually ordered these on Amazon. Um, I'm going to do a separate video about all the upgrades I did. We're going to touch base on the upgrades here, but in that video, I'm going to put all the links to all the items. Now, I am not sponsored. This channel is not sponsored. Anybody who wants to sponsor us, we'll, we'll be glad to have it. <laughs> but unlike so many YouTubers, we don't get all this stuff for free. Uh, and our any links I post, we're not getting a kickback from. It's so because we use it and love it. This is because we've used it, we've tried it, and it's great. So I just want to show you a quick quick reason why you may want to upgrade yours, whether you're a fatty like me or not. So see, these fold up inside, and if you have a deeper, longer, well, that's more room inside this is taken up and potentially interfering with your door. So these are the standard steps that come with the unit. That's what you see on most RVs. Now they're rated at, whatever they're rated at, 300 pounds. When I first stood on these, I did the whole camper go, but they wiggle, they bounce, and they're already askew just from us walking in and out. So I knew pretty quickly I had to install these upgraded steps, which thank God Grand Design, since they are still made with care and quality, have now included this. They are included on the larger, more expensive lines, but they're now including these on the Imagines as of late 2020. Look at that difference. They don't budge. The trailer doesn't move, nothing moves. So these are a very important upgrade, uh, whether you're you're a big in like me or not. So I just want to touch base on that. Another great thing we did, 
probably anybody's ever watched a YouTube video of any time full-time RVers or what have you, everybody has this RV lock, and it is amazing. So it, it has a fob, or it's a keyless entry, and what's great when you're leaving, you just hold the lock button, and it just locks. And then you type in your code to gain entry to it, and it unlocks. Uh, it's great, especially when you're first setting up camp. Eileen can hop out, unlock, get the steps down while I'm doing everything on hitching. There's no worrying about who has the key, who doesn't have the key. If you have kids, they're out in the campground playing, they can come and go as they please. They're not worried about having a key to the place to lose or what have you. Great investment. They make these for the slam latches on the basement. However, I haven't heard back from RV Lock yet. Supposedly, Grand Design in 2019 changed the dimension of their slam latch lock. And supposedly, 2019 is newer, the RV lock keypad uh, slam latches don't work. I, I'll give an update on that when I get it. I reached out to RV lock on that. Um, but it's a great camper. One of the great things about this thing is you have this spray nozzle up front. It does come with the hose. So you have one in the back compartment as your shower, your outdoor shower, which is a hose. Which is nice. You can do hot or cold if you're giving your dog a bath or something. But this is great to have right here if it's muddy. There's an issue, you can hose off your steps, you can hose off your shoes. It's wonderful to have an outlet right here next to the entry. Um, incredible wide, long awning uh, with, the, with the lights underneath. Um, one quick thing I want to touch base on back here. This really wasn't an upgrade as much as it was an addition. These bumpers, great four inch bumpers, great for storing your sewer hose, not much good for anything else. They are very thin metal, and as somebody who welds and does construction site work, I can tell you, I wouldn't trust putting anything on there beyond this spare tire. Uh, this spare tire really doesn't move and bounce a lot, so I'm comfortable with that. If you put a bike rack on this thing, and you get the weight of those bikes out on a lever action, and they're bouncing like this, this bumper will not last very long. You'll be leaving your bikes in the middle of the highway somewhere at some point. So I was looking for a solution. Now they have those jackets and things that you put on over your, your propane tanks, I think it can be difficult to get to. Uh, $29 on sale, $39 regularly priced at Camping World. This is a ladder rack mounted bike rack. I have it pretty high because we got big bikes, but this ladder is rated at 300 pounds. These bikes run 300 pounds. I have it strapped tight to the ladder rack. The rack doesn't move. There is no bounce to the bikes. This is the greatest thing ever. Now it has spots here for two bikes and it keeps them spaced out pretty far and keeps them away from the camper so that your pedals aren't, aren't rubbing the camper, scratching up your fiberglass. But if you really needed to, you could squeeze three or four bikes on here very easily. I strapped the bikes together. I strapped the bikes at the lower point to the ladder rack, the, the ladder itself. These bikes aren't going anywhere. That, that's the greatest thing. Um, but I don't want to get into all the utilities and all that fancy stuff because again, it has everything every other camper has, and this is in the sales pitch. Uh-huh. So, uh, setting up outdoor camp, we're not real big sitting outside type of people. We're either out on the go or we're home resting. Uh, but no campsite would be complete without my buddy over here. Oh, he's going to come around. Coming around. Because... Campsite's complete without little George. <laughs> uh. So just like our camper's little gem, named after Norwegian cruise ship Gem, Norwegian Gem, which was our kind of our favorite cruise ship to cruise on. We lost our golden retriever a couple of years ago, George, so this is little George. He's my new little buddy. <laughs> you ready for the inside? Yep. All right, let's go inside. Hey guys, so welcome to what I like to call the biggest, littlest camper in the world. This is pretty much everything here. You can see the bedrooms open. We're gonna go into a little bit of detail, but um, this is all you need for a couple. Uh, it says it sleeps up to four people. Um, I think for two people, if you guys are retired or just wanting to travel, this is an amazing, amazing floor plan. So we're gonna start right here where we have this amazing, I'm gonna use that word a lot because I think everything about this camper is amazing. Uh, this L-shaped little chaise couch, and it's quite comfortable. This side of the couch here folds out into, I guess, a full bed, but it's pretty sturdy. 
I'm not going to get into the folding out, you guys get the idea. But storage galore in this coach. Just grab this little handle here. This lifts up. Really easy to do on its little struts or whatever. There is, as you can see, we have our water in there, some briefcases. Um, there's a table, and that table attaches right here, and it spins, and it's really amazing. I'm not going to get into it right now because, honestly, we use TV trays, we, or we are watching TV and we have our food on us. I mean, maybe that sounds sloppy, but we're camping, we're comfortable. So, um, this is plenty of space again for my husband and I, and then here they actually paired the couch with the fridge which might seem a little strange, but because your kitchen is here, I think this is a perfect location for this fridge. So I'm gonna show you inside the fridge here. This is a nice size. I believe this is eight cubic, six or eight. Um, and then the little freezer here. But this fridge is that electric or propane. So when you're traveling down the road, you are good to go with keeping everything icy cold. Um, so, we have an extra bonus drawer that came with this unit that had pet bowls. Instead, like my husband said, we don't have our golden retriever traveling with us at this point in time. We just made it his toolbox. But this was so cute that Grand Design actually thought about the puppies. And then here in the kitchen, really nice, huge farmhouse sink modern fixtures it's got like the little nozzle that sprays and I have some extra countertop space really nice and sturdy we use this all the time so I'm gonna leave that up for a minute and I want to talk about the storage again so much of these cabinets I mean we have stuff up here but we can really fill it more um, we actually have some empty drawers and stuff. But well, and it, that cabinet goes all the way all back the way. to the back wall here. And it goes, yes. It's a deep cabinet. This is a little flip down with our soaps, but you can see these deep drawers. Really, really great. And then a small oven, um, but the burners work great. This glass top, it does fold over and you're ready to go. Um, we use these burners all the time. I haven't used the oven yet. Um, really amazing storage. Look at this for your important pots, Instapot, toaster, all the good stuff, Keurig. Um, really amazing. Which brings us right next door to our entertainment system. Just take note, this entertainment TV center is right across from the couch. So in so many RVs, we saw that you couldn't get storage um, and then like have the TV in the same area. So because they wanted to fill everything with closets and storage, they had the TV across the room. And we were like, no, if we're sitting down watching TV, we want to watch TV. And here it is, entertainment system right across from the couch. So look at this. They combine both. They did this huge amount of kind of pantry storage, extra space here. An interesting note about these. So there are several kits you can buy. If you look on YouTube or Imagine Owners Forum, there, there is 150 people that post this. We're not going to get into that. But they have uh, like all these, I think, carries them these, these pull-out basket mechanisms that fit perfectly in these three cubbies. Uh, this center shelf here removes and there's a curtain rod in there or a, a closet rod in there to make this a full hanging closet as well like a coat closet and just ignore our mess here but uh it really conceals everything well because we have tons of space you're going to save the bathroom um because this model is actually the 2150 rb which means rear bath we're going to save the best for last but right here when you come in grand design thought of everything they got the hooks here i always keep like of course, it looks nice and neat for the video, but I normally have my purse and things hanging here. Car keys. Um, car keys. Huge area. Huge. Full length behind the TV. Really nice compartment. We have our TV trays, step stools, oh. anything you can oh, think of. something to mention. Um, ah. Notice you can see that glorious yes. tundra through our front door. Yes. Okay. This is a phenomenal upgrade that my husband did. 
and this is called the Slim Shade. It has literally the shade built in and the amount of light, Grand Design had it diffused, that classic that comes with a camper where you can't see out. Frosted glass. Um, yeah, like a frosted glass. We wanted something where if somebody's knocking on our door, we want to see at 2 in the morning who's outside. Hopefully no one's knocking on our door at 2 in the morning. But this it upgrade happens. was just such a phenomenal thing. We got this on Amazon for $65, and my husband is the maker of dreams. He did this in like a half hour by himself, so amazing upgrade. Um, we're also going to show here, down below here, you just kick your kick your shoes off, boom. And, and there's plenty of room. So that they call it the shoe garage. Yes. Now, there comes a size 17 flying at you. <laughs> yeah, I mean. And I can fully, with my big steamboat shoes. It's, it's awesome. I can fully conceal, toe in my shoe. <laughs> Sorry so, for the joggy video there. Uh, I can fully, full length into the toe, completely into the, the shoe garage. So many campers don't think about these things. Um, and that's where Grand Design was really just genius with all these little compartments. Um, so we're going to go into the bedroom. Oh wait, one more upgrade that my husband did. See this beautiful lit up area um, under the cabinet here and it lights up our sink. This light for some reason did not exist. It was actually just that light there above the window and um, my husband was like that's kind of stupid. We need some light there and he took the sticker off of one of the... Yeah, um, I, I removed one of the old lights. Yeah, he and can got better. The, I removed the, the light by the window up here got the information off of it and actually went online and on Amazon found the actual company that Grand Design orders their lights from and got the actual matching light and was able to install it there by simply running a piece of thermostat wire underneath the front edge of this cabinet drilling through into this dead space up here and taking this light down and patching the wire in and so it's a matching looks like it belongs there light and gives us extra light where we need it I'd just like to add, he's been like an electrician for how many years, so that's something he could easily figure out. This could be something that probably an electrician friend could easily do or, for you. Or you go and you buy a, a self-adhesive battery-operated LED or light. You do, or you do the self-stick or the command strips. The command, command strips. strips I just wanted to make sure I, I wanted it to match. I'm a little weird that way. So um, that's huge, the same light there. huge windows here. Um, one of the things that really sold us on this was the size of the windows and you just feel like with the space we talked about the the height of the ceiling so we've got this nice yes. barrel um, yes. Here, but let me show you yes. a few seconds so yes. mind you I'm almost 6'6 almost six, six, or 6'5 six, rather the XLS my head would hit this speaker yeah this barreled ceiling gives me almost six inches it's great it's six foot eleven in the middle it's really great Okay, so while I'm just holding the camera, I'm going to just come in here because it's a smaller space in the bedroom. It is fully a walk around space, um, but the closets and the drawer and the storage, there is like a USB they had and some outlets, um, nice big windows, nice big windows over here. My husband's beautiful uh, photograph from Savannah. We have up there and um, a little bit of uh, do what makes your soul happy, some inspirational art. Um, I'm going to open this. Uh, again, my closet's a little messy. Sorry. But full full depth. But really, really, just with, <laughs> there's a, a suitcase in there. That you could hang coats, jackets, shirts with, with plenty of room. And they give you another little like drawer down here. Um, and, and a ledge. Which oh yes. Important in case you're yeah. a top user. Or There's a ledge here. Definitely. You want to cut, if, have a glass of water next to the bed. I put my books and tissues and everything there, so it's been really, really great. Outlets on both sides, and the one side has USBs. But I'll show you what I did. You go to Home Depot and you get yourself one of these to plug into your outlet. Oh, I put it away. Oh. It's hiding. It's in the cabinet. Oh, all right. Never mind. <laughs> anyway. 
you can go to, to Home Depot and you can get, it's a little white box, has two outlets and two 2.4 amp USBs on. I just have one on my side, so I have U powered USB on my side as well. Uh, do you want to demonstrate the best part of this camper? Because again, height and everything is a big deal. Take us to the bathroom. Walk this way. <laughs> the best part. You wouldn't think of a bathroom being the best part of a camper, but again, amazing. Five. 350 plus. I have room. <laughs> that so much room. I have trouble fitting through width wide, shoulder width through 28 30 inch doors, and I can stand in the shower even with this rack and fully function. Yeah. This is really... the biggest bathroom we've ever seen in an RV, and that 45 degree angle toilet gives even the biggest of biggins plenty of wingspan. <laughs> Plenty of, How's that? Plenty of you wingspan. You can't beat that. <laughs> you know what? That's something that, like, honestly, you don't really appreciate until you get in, into a small RV and you see how you have no room to move. Now, speaking of room, I mean, look at this counter space. Oh, yet another upgrade that my husband Dan just did uh, when we got this camper. He replaced the faucet. No, it. Buy it for looks. Buy it for life. <laughs> the matching toilet paper. Um, yes, he did put on Easy the... Easy change toilet paper. That, and that's such a great little upgrade. Huge drawer here. Again, more storage. Huge cabinet under the sink. Um, and ladies, I mean, look at this counter space. So you see some campers that are like, oh, we have a double sink. This does not have a double sink, and guess what? I'm happy with that. Hair dryers, uh, makeup, anything you need. You have an awesome vanity. And, um, hey world. So, look at this um, beautiful mirrored cabinet. They have, again, tons of storage in the medicine cabinet here. Eileen did very good getting all these little baskets and bins to keep stuff kind of centralized so it wasn't yeah. just freely flying back and forth as we're going down the road. You don't think about this, but like stuff like that, like, okay, you want some band-aids and some soap. If you just had it laying in here, this goes down the road at some, you know, they say it's like an earthquake every time you um, go down the road with these um, campers and this actually, you need storage solutions. Actually, I'll show you in here, even though it's a bit messy. But I have a whole bunch of baskets deep, as well. Deep and very, long very door. deep. Amazing. Um, also, in this bathroom, look at this is the entire length of the shower. Like these little cubbies here, we have like the toilet paper goes all the way in there. I'm going to need my husband's long arms to get that out. Um, really great that they just utilize every inch of space. We have an awesome little view. I don't know if you guys can see this here. This is the miniature, miniature golf spot. course. Uh, so it's kind of cute to have the golf course out the window um, of this one camper. One more little tidbit. Uh, yes. So one one of the upgrades that we did, well, two things really, um, that that I really highly recommend. If you don't want to put a ton of money into upgrading all your fans and the, and the exhaust systems, so the front vent and the back vent. This would be the back. We have the. Um, the max air covers so we can leave our vents open when we're driving down the road if we are you know if it's parked over the winter time it lets airflow naturally circulate and convex through here keeping it dry uh, so that one which has that little tiny fan and the one back in the bedroom we can open up then here oh yeah we forgot this in the center I just installed this so this does not have a max air cover on it this I want to have open in case we're cooking and I want it just to open this up to let air flow freely. But instead of spending 275 and up on a on a fantastic fan yeah. that you have to get up on the roof, cut up all of your die core, rip that out, rip this out, put in a whole new assembly. This is the Vortex 1. Now they have a Vortex 2, which is a little fancier, it has reverse and three speeds. I didn't need all that. I wanted a fan to kick on and get the heat out when I'm cooking or my wife's cooking or something. Just something to move air. And let me tell you something. This little fan, you kick that bad boy on and you open up a couple of windows, it is like a wind tunnel in here. It is amazing. It, it moves a lot of air really easily. And it might even sound... And it's cheap and it goes in in no time. It's very easy to do.
apologize, guys. Uh, I realized I think we had the air on this whole video, so. Yeah, you uh, did. I was gonna say something. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. But again, I'm just gonna step that, back. That, that's what they call a newbie alert. <laughs> yes. We're not ordinary people. <laughs> We're morons. Again, give you the overview, and because our channel is Bates Photography on the Road, we are gonna show you um, at this time my husband Dan's real estate shots of yep. this Wait, beautiful... Let me get back in here and promote. Yes, go ahead and promote. Uh, so, in doing this video, yes, I did some real estate shots for my photographer watcher, or, or photography viewers. Um, so, if you are interested, if you're not a photographer, or if you're just interested in how to like, maybe shoot smaller places, uh, there'll be a video up, along with this one, and it, it's, it's my current method that I use to shoot real estate with doing exposure layering. It's, it's HDR, but I kind of make it not HDR. Um, so you'll see the pictures, the final results of the shoot I did after this video. But if you're interested at all, like how to set up your camera for doing this type of, of shooting, uh, be sure to check out that video. And I know we're like done, but actually guys, I want to show you something for the women out there. Um, cute little camper pillows and throws. That was something that yeah, we decided. Stuff okay, I'm just going to show you guys this here. My husband actually put this beauty together, little gem. Obviously, we explained that that's out of Norwegian, uh, or from Norwegian gem, Norwegian that, that we had such a great experience, the cruise line, and um, that is just stating her name. Um, in here, when you come in the door, the best days are spent camping. I absolutely just love these little touches of home that make things, um, you know, feel like home when you're away. So, of course, we were in the bathroom a minute ago. Life is good. We've got this adorable little mini vintage camper, some plants, and um, I do have to show that I'm obsessed with. This rug is a hand-knotted vintage uh, Turkish rug. You can get things like this on Etsy. Uh, that's where I did because, honestly, I didn't like what they were showing in these modern-day cheap carpets. This is such a beautiful work of art. Um, here, this is home is where you park it. Um, the little yellow ones, I used a Sharpie and just <laughs> colored that in. So you can get creative, guys, with decorating. Um, here, we have our magnets. Actually, we have to put up still our Pennsylvania Dutch uh, Amish country magnet, magnet, but everywhere we go, we're getting a magnet. And here... Just a little happy little saying, look for the miracles in your life. And um, again, another little plant there. And just make it your own. Make your camper home. We certainly are feeling that this is our home away from home. There he is. And we love it. And thank you for taking this tour with us. And we have many more um, videos to follow. Thanks, guys.